Well, it's the 1st of April, and that means that I have officially finished uh, Meat Free March, which followed on straight from uh, Veguary. I figured I'd give them a try, given that February is the shortest month. I do Veguary, I saw everyone doing Veganuary, and I just going vegan straight from eating three meat meals a day just seemed a bit insane to me. I'm, I'm a big meat eater. And so I thought I'd do veggery. Got through that, no trouble at all. I was working up in London, loads of options. And then I thought, let's roll it into Meat Free March, which again, hasn't been too difficult until now. We're now in coronavirus lockdown and what I've seen in the supermarkets is a mass clearance of the vegetarian sections. Everything is gone. Everyone is just selling meat and selling vegetables. There's no real veggie protein options. So where before you'd have like loads of corn in stock and you'd have different meat-free burgers and you'd have plant-based burgers, they are all gone. There is nothing. Today's trip to the supermarket yielded some falafel and some arancini. That was the entire vegetarian option without breaking the bank at like eight pound for a pack of burgers. Other than that, I've not really had too much trouble. A few of the things that I've learned are that falafel isn't just falafel. There are hundreds of different types of falafel with loads of different levels of quality for each of them. I've also realized that halloumi is kind of nice and that you need to cook it properly, otherwise it squeaks on your teeth and makes you cringe. It's much easier to be vegetarian somewhere like London than it is to be vegetarian in the middle of a nowhere town that I live in. It's just been incredibly difficult at home since leaving work. I'd, I'd absolutely recommend it. Um, doing the, the veggery and then the Meat Free March. It's, it's a really good way to see if you can go vegetarian, if, you, if you're interested, if you want to. I was curious and I've got to the end of it and all I can think now is that I can't really be bothered to go back to eating meat. I'm really enjoying a vegetarian diet. I'm losing weight, somewhat, and I'm finding that I've got more energy in myself and I feel good about myself every time I have food. I don't have that little twinge of guilt of something died for this. I know that vegan is the full way there, but I've got no interest in going vegan. I can't do it. I love honey. I love eggs. Just not gonna happen. What I will make sure I do is I get free range eggs and the, the meat I buy for the rest of the family is as cruelty free as possible. One of the ways of doing that is making sure that it's British, it's got that little red tractor mark. It sounds silly, but we do have such good animal welfare standards in the UK. That's not the reason I went vegetarian, I just wanted to see if I could do it. I used to be a member of the Green Party and I was one of the few members in the local area that wasn't vegetarian. And it was really noticed every time we went as a group to go and hand out leaflets for the election or meeting up for a meeting, everything would be a vegetarian option and I'd be the only one who'd be, I'll have a steak please. So it really made sense for me to give it a go. Um, since then the Green Party and I have parted ways. I don't know if we'll be uh, crossing paths again in the future, but for now uh, that's not an option. I'm hoping to get back to work in the next couple of weeks. I've had a couple of promising calls today. Of course, I also had a call which is, you are great for the job, they really want you, but they've cancelled the hiring process. That's four now, that's four that I've gone for that that's happened. It's uh, becoming a bit of a theme and a bit of a joke. But I've still got my chin up, still got my hopes strong. I figure I'll get back to work sooner or later. And in the meantime, I've got some personal projects to be getting on with. Catch you next time.